what's going on guys it is your boy Cypher here today bringing you guys another live pokemon omega ruby and sapphire wi-fi battle and today we're gonna be battling gabriel aka dirter 22 on the discord chat that i'm in uh again shout out to blizz for helping me out with that uh today i'm bringing you guys a ou mix wi-fi battle against my boy gabriel again i will leave his twitter link in the description below because you know that's what he has he has a twitter so definitely go give him a follow go check him out today we're gonna be in the ou mix kind of tier i think he might bring either an ou mix or he might bring an ou team i'm not positive and i'm really not sure of what he's gonna bring um but like i said <clears throat> we are here bringing you guys a ou team sorry if i'm like you know coughing or anything not feeling the hottest today just definitely you know Clog throat, giggity. Um, but yeah, more importantly, uh, we need to go over a team recap, so let's go ahead and do that. So today, we have Chornadus. He has a powerful Chornadus because he is about to grab the broom and start sweeping as a chore. Uh, he is a er, a Life Force variant with Hurricane Knockoff, Heat Weight, and Focus Blast. Next, we do have Shock Daddy, aka our nice powerful Mega Manic Trick with Thunderbolt, Volt Switch, Overheat, and Hidden Power Ice. Uh, obviously, the holding the Manic Sight. Next, we do have Fanny Pack, our Don fan, who did put in work last match against a nice and powerful Latios. If you guys haven't checked that out, definitely go check that out. It will be in the description below with the playlist. But today, we have our Don fan, who has Rapid Spin, Ice Shard, Knockoff, and Earthquake, holding the Assault Vest. Next, we do have Chest Out. Chest Out. Hacks. For the Iron Head. Uh, he is holding the Shuckle Berry to take those ground type attacks with Stealth Rock, uh, Close Combat, Volt Switch, and Iron Head. And next, we do have Slow Bruh. Slow Bruh. Who also put in work last match with Skull, Thunder Wave, Slack Off, and Calm Mind, holding the leftovers. And last but not least, we do have Flare Guns, aka our nice powerful Darmanitan with U Turn, Flare Blitz, Rock Slide, and Super Power. So that is going to be the squad that I'm bringing to you guys. Again, if you guys are hyped for today's Wi Fi battle and you guys want to see more Pokemon content, then definitely hit that subscribe button down below. As well as you drop a like because it, it helps me out, helps the community out, and more importantly, it gets us hyped for Sun and Moon because, like I said, I want at least, well, I didn't say that yet, but I want to try to bring a Wi Fi battle at least one every day before sun and moon comes out because wi-fi battles believe it or not are actually pretty easy to record so um like i said we have we're at 82 now well this will be 82 right here i definitely want to get 100 before sun and moon come out so with that being said let's go ahead and not keep my boy gabriel waiting um so i'm gonna go ahead and click battle start with the squad gabriel good luck to you man definitely gonna be a fun match i think <clears throat> but like i said i really think i want to keep like four matches with this ou team Sweet baby Jesus, this is gonna be a bitch to deal with. But he has Lando, he has Emolga, he has Hitmon, Lee, he has Kiram B, nice powerful Space Jam, he has Scizor, and he has Swampert. Alright, well it's definitely a pretty crazy team, so... <clears throat> Leads for him, actually. He has a lot of leads, to be honest. He has about three leads. Actually, no, four leads, if we really want to. He could have a Volt Switch Emolga. He could have U-Turn Landorus that could hit hard. He has a Scizor with U-Turn. And then he could have a Stealth Rock variant of Swampert. So, I don't see him leading with Kiram because he's not going to pull a Cypher. He's not going to lead Kiram. Who would want to lead Kiram? Who does that kind of stuff? Um... <clears throat> But a lead for us, a lead for us, I think a lead for us would definitely be Darmanitan, um, because Darmanitan at least can shut down the Emolga, and he can shut down the Scizor. Um, now, obviously, if he does lead with Kieran, then we definitely can shut that thing down. Um, but definitely, Landers is going to be a little bit of a problem, but we can at least U-turn if he's not Scarf. So I'm going to go ahead and lead off with my Darmanitan. Um, I definitely should put a Scarf user on this team, but <clears throat> oh well, what can you do? Um, also, my slow ro or my slow bruh is not regenerator. He is unfortunately, he's unfortunately oblivious. He's gonna leave with that darn man. Oh no, I'm gonna leave with darn man. So he does leave with the swampert. So he's gonna get a stealth rock up, which kind of sucks. Um, and it really sucks more because I have nothing with a grass type attack. So this thing is going to be oh so fun to deal with. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and get a big U-turn off on this thing. Um, he's more than likely probably like leftovers. Um, yeah, see that? And that's banded damage. So that means that he's probably a physically defensive Swampert. And obviously we didn't see the Mega here. So it's more important, more likely a Mega Scizor. So uh, we definitely need something to, to deal with this thing. <clears throat> I feel like my play here is to actually go into Tornadus. Because on his team, he doesn't have much to take a Hurricane, actually. Um, we do have Heat Wave for the Scizor if it does come out. He's going to go for the Stealth Rocks. We are Regenerator. 
thankfully on this guy, because I'm pretty sure it's the only ability he gets from correct. Yeah, he gets regenerator only. That's 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 a little unfortunate, but okay. Uh, so let's see. So we could go for the knockoff here, but will the ice beam take us out? Is the question. <clears throat> tough call. Tough call. Um, I kind of want to just go straight for the hurricane because, like I said, nothing on his team really wants to take a hurricane. Um, oh, he's leftovers because he got the health back. Okay. <clears throat> Hmm. I'm going to go for the Hurricane. I feel like a Hurricane would be our best play. As we are going to go for the Hurricane. And we miss Hurricane. He's in a Roar. Okay, good play. So he's definitely the Roar Stealth Rock set. It's going to bring us in a Slow King. Which is actually not bad. Because... Because we can actually... We can hold for a Scald Burn? We can hold for a Scald Burn. And hopefully he brings us into Darmanitan. Or, uh, hopefully he brings us back into our Don fan. So, I'm going to go for a Scald here. I see why not. Now, he could think this thing could be packing uh, Grass Knot. Because these things actually do pack Grass Knot, I believe. But uh, he's actually just going to go for the Earthquake. Earthquake's not going to do much. As we are going to get a Scald off. If we can get a Burn here, that'd be perfect. There we go. That's for missing a Hurricane right there. Hacks. He got this middle one right here. He got that middle one right there, though. Okay, so now that we have the burn on this thing, this thing's going to be whittled down a little bit. Um, <clears throat> so I kind of want to go for another Scald. Uh, but I feel like he's going to outspeed us and go for the Roar. So I'm going to slack off just in case if he doesn't. As he, We are going to get the slack off. We do outspeed, so this is a speed tie, believe it or not. So what's Slow King's speed is 30. How is this a speed tie? Oh, negative priority for Roar, that's right. Yeah, so we're going to be able to tell when he uses Roar. As he does bring us into Cobalion, which is perfect. Now, uh, we have two plays here in mind. We can either go... Oh, I dropped my pen. We can either go for... As I, oh yeah, I do that in every episode. I do this in every Wi-Fi battle. <clears throat> okay. So we can either go for the close combat or we can set up our own stealth rocks. I kind of want to set up our own stealth rocks just because it does hurt Emolga and it does hurt Kieran Black. Um... So, I'm not opposed to going for the Stealth Rocks. Then he can roar me out if he wants to. Uh, like I said, we do have a Shuckaberry, so we can easily take an Earthquake if he wants to do it. Um, as he is going to Earthquake here. I am Shuckaberry, so this should eat it up. We should eat this up perfectly. Yeah. What's an Earthquake to a Cobalion? Ah, ah, ah. Kind of getting too wild up in here. Okay, so now, now the moral of the fact here is... Oh, and he's burnt, so... Pff, didn't do nothing. Uh, unfortunately, I have no item here, which kind of sucks, but I'm going to go for the straight close combat. Uh, as we are going to get the close combat off, that is going to take out Swampert. Not even bad. Actually, I, I called that before it even took him out, but <clears throat> it's Stab. Cobalion's a monster. It's going to take it out. So, okay. So now we have Stealth Rocks up on his side, which Kieran Black is going to be pretty walled, as well as a Molga. Um, he could go into his Lando here. His Lando could probably be the best play. He's going to go to Seer, which is going to be the Lando. Okay. So, Lando does come out. <clears throat> I'm not sure if we have any switches for this, to be honest. Because uh, if it's Scarf Lando, we have a, definitely a problem. Um, hmm. I'm going to go into Slowbra. Slowbra. Because I am physically defensive Slowbro. So, I should be able to eat up an Earthquake. Even If a knockoff does come, it's going to kind of suck for us. Um... But, I mean, it's going to be really whatever. Uh, he is going to rock slide us. Okay, so he does have rock slide. So we, we should have just stayed in then. We should have definitely just stayed in then. Um, okay. So, what's our play here? I kind of want to scald because a scald hits everything. And we can get a burn plus two. So, you know what? I'm going to go for the scald. No sense in not. He's going to U-turn. This actually is going to do a decent amount of damage. Yeah, as it does. Mm. At least we can tell he's not banded. I don't know. Maybe he's leftovers. I don't know. Maybe he's expert belt something. I don't know. They did look like expert belt damage, though. All right. Well, he's going to go into a Mogo. Mogo's going to take 25%. Uh, so that's actually pretty good. And now we can just get the Scald off. We get another burn. We'll be dope. No burn. Okay. Um, eject button. Huh? <laughs> 
Well, you're gonna die, it comes Stealth Rocks. Not bad. You so you better go into that defogger, that scissor. But just know, you go for the defog. I'm going for that. Ah, 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 ah. All right, so he's gonna bring in Lando again. Um, get that double intimidate. Now, if we were belly drums, would suck. Um, I feel like he's gonna U-turn again. I feel like he's gonna U-turn again. So if we go, if he goes for the U-turn again. I kind of want to just go into my fanny pack and get a rapid spin off. Yeah, I'm going to go into fanny pack and get a rapid spin off. I don't, I doubt he would go for the earthquake. I mean, he could go for the earthquake, but it's not going to do much. Hopefully. <laughs> um, but he is going to go for the rock slide. Okay. As we do avoid the rock slide, so that's perfect. Hacks are going in our favor. Okay, well, I definitely want to get a rapid spin off here. He doesn't have any ghost types, which is perfect. He is going to go for the earthquake. This shouldn't do too much. Uh, definitely put it, it definitely put me in two range now, um, which is fine, but the best part about this actually is now we can actually just straight up go for the, um, um, I kind of want to go for the knockoff, but I kind of want to ice shard. Do I need Darmanitan still? His rock setter is gone. It does take on a Mulga though. It does take on a Mulga. I'm gonna go for the Ice Shard though. I'm not intimidated. I'm gonna go for the Ice Shard. We do get the Ice Shard off. Can this take out Lando? No. It doesn't. But I don't think Rock Slide will take us out though. Rock Slide is definitely not taking us out. I don't know why he keeps going for Rock Slide, but whatever. So, dope. Dope money. I'm going for another Ice Shard. He's probably going to switch here. He might even switch here, actually, to preserve Lando. Um, uh, I don't know who he'd go into. He'd probably go into Scizor if he wanted to. But then again, Scizor's not doing much. Um, he could go into Kyurem. Kyurem could definitely be a switch. Um, and then kind of go for a post-game late sweep. Because uh, if, if he's Scarfed, uh, we're going to have a little bit of trouble. Um... But he does need to get his rocks away, that's for sure. Definitely needs to get his rocks away. Um, I noticed that this team is a little weak to Scarfed Keldeo. <laughs> I was testing that on Showdown. And uh, I noticed when I was on the OU like the OU ladder, it it was getting body bagged by Scarfed Keldeo. Scarfed Keldeo was just body bagging us left and right. He is going to withdraw... He is going to go into the Emolga again. He's probably going to sack this thing off from the rocks, as he does. Um, perfect. Uh, I'm not sure of a move he could make. He could go and hit my leaf if he wants to. Um, I, I, I'm not sure. I'm, I get, I'm really not sure, actually. He's going to go into Kiram. He's in, okay, so he's going to safely bring in the Kiram. That is fine, actually. Um, because we do have something that can take this thing on, which is called our Darmanitan. Okay, so he is probably more than likely Scarfed. If he's more than likely Scarfed, I'm going to go for the knockoff just in case. Because um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to bait him into the Ice Beam. If he's not, then obviously we can take him out with our Darm. Um, so, perfect Rooney. So he's done there. Alright, so we actually we need, we should probably put X's on who he's taken. So we've taken out the Swampert, and we've taken out the Emolga. Okay. Uh, who is our play here? Who is our play? I think Darmanitan is our play just in case if he is scarfed. Uh, so rocks are off our side of the field, which is perfect. So now we can actually just straight up go for a... Hmm. I'm going to go for the Flare Blitz just because it hits everything primarily. As he is not scarfed, we do outspeed. This thing is getting body bagged to a whole new dimension. Yaga! Ow, I just punched myself in the eye. I'm so sorry. Sorry, safey. But yeah. Oh, and that and, the, and that was banded damage, dude. Get out. Alright, so Kirim's gone. His late game sweeper is gone now. He's gonna go into Lando. Um And actually we might be able to outspeed this thing. Let let me double check that. I am getting a call, I'm so sorry. Let me double check that. Um Let me double check. Lando's speed because I'm pretty sure we do outspeed Lando. 
I'm pretty sure we do outspeed Lando. He has 91. We outspeed because we already know he's not scarfed. And I'm going for a Flare Blitz. And Yaga. We take out the nice and powerful Lando. And now, all he has left is his Hitmonlee and his Scizor. And Hitmonlee, I believe, we outspeed as well unless he's unburdened boost. Um, the Darmanitan sweep is so real. I just want to check Hitmonlee, to be honest. Hitmonlee has a base 87 speed, so unless he's faking out, I'm going for another Flare Blitz. Oh, no, 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 I, I, I'm fine, actually, I'm fine, because, um... Oh, and we're living, though! Um, but the good thing is, is we do still have our, um... We do, in fact, still have... What's his name in the back? We have Tornadus for the, um... We have Tornadus for the nice and powerful Heat Wave as I... Oh, wait, no. We have Shock Daddy. We have Shock Daddy. Shock Daddy. Bring it on, Shock Daddy. All right, so we have Scizor here, which is more than likely Mega Scizor. I don't think a Bullet Punch is taking us out as I am going to go for an Overheat. Going for the Overheat. Come on, Medic Shank. Come on, Manic Trike. You got this, baby. You got this. Intimidate. Oh, and the Intimidate's going off. So that means Bullet Punch is definitely not going to take us out. As Overheat should. Overheat should. If Overheat misses, I'm going to cry myself to sleep. Bullet Punch comes. Does Bullet Punch take us out? Don't even touch us. And that is going to be GG. Definitely a great game to Gabriel. Again, definitely go check him out. I will leave his Twitter link in the description below. Go show him some love with a follow. But more importantly, if you guys enjoyed today's Wi-Fi battle, then definitely hit that thumbs up. At his, as blah, 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 blah. I'm not even going to try to save that because I know I don't have any battle room. But like I said, if you guys enjoyed today's Wi-Fi battle, definitely hit that thumbs up as it is greatly appreciated. If you want to see more Pokemon content from Mua, then definitely hit that subscribe button down below. It's that big red button to subscribe. You can just hit that and you will get notified of when I upload Wi-Fi battles, the Outlaw versus, maybe even the Ruby Random or the Ruby Egglock. I'm not sure. Well, the Omega Ruby Egglock. I don't know. That series has kind of been a hit and miss kind of thing. Um, just because time-wise, I don't know. I might continue it when I get into my new house. I might even continue when X and Y comes because um, just one of those things. But again, if you guys enjoyed, hit that thumbs up down below. Again, go check out my boy Gabriel. Definitely head into the description and go check out my Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram links. All those links are there. And more importantly, I will see you guys in the next video. So please have yourselves a great morning, night, evening, day, wherever you're at. And I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you for watching. What is great? Goes, oh, 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 oh. See you.